Hello everyone, I'm Chris and in today's video we will create an LDR Auto Light controller device with a built-in battery charger circuit, so let's get started. The main component of our device is LDR stands for Light Dependent Resistor. This component acts as a variable resistor where the measured resistance value depends on the intensity of light applied to its photoconductive material. The lower the light intensity, the higher the resistor value and it could reach up to 1K ohm in dark places. So we can use this interactive component in several applications and probably the most commonly used purpose of LDR is auto light controlling. You can use the LDR to directly control the brightness of an LED, but this is not recommended for heavy loads. And that's why I used a NPN transistor and placed the LDR in series to 10K ohm resistor to create this voltage divider circuit at the base of the transistor. This will decrease the voltage at the base by increasing the light intensity, which turns off the transistor and the LEDs. The 10K ohm series resistor is used to define the circuit light sensitivity. I managed to power the circuit from a 3.7 volt rechargeable battery and yes, I included the charging circuit that I made in my previous videos to this gadget. All I have to do is duplicate the same circuit setup and add this P MOSFET to help me switch the power from USB to battery when I disconnect the device from the charging source and this way the device will automatically switch from being powered by battery to USB and I keep the battery charging safely. I then transformed the schematic to a PCB design and set this circular shape for my board. I placed the battery and USB connectors to the edge of the board and set the LEDs around the LDR and here is how it looks the circuit in 3D view. I got my PCB successfully produced it and delivered from JLC PCB. I set black solder mask color and lead free hot air solder leveling to enjoy the $2 minimum price offer. I set my desktop for assembly and started with depositing solder paste on the exposed pads. I regretted that I didn't order it stencil to help me with this task. But surely, stencil is fundamental for batch production of this device. I then placed the parts to the PCB and as always I refer it to Altium 365 to avoid any assembly mistakes, especially with all these tiny components. I move it then to my hot plate to complete the assembly and here is a microscopic view of the soldering process. After completing the surface mount assembly, I cleaned the solder flux using flux removal solvent. Then the last assembly part is soldering the LDR to the circuit. And here is our circuit ready to get tested. I connected the USB cable to my 5 volt power adapter and the result looks promising. The LEDs turn on and its brightness changes based on the light intensity. I then powered the circuit from my 3.7 volt battery and also the circuit worked properly. You can notice the LEDs brightness changing by plugging and unplugging the USB cable due to the power source switching from 3.7 volt of the battery to 5 volt of the power adapter and this confirms that our circuit is fully ready to action. I then designed this housing to complete my gadget and 3D printed it in PLA filament. I considered these two holes on the PCB to screw to the housing. As always, I used threaded inserts and I successfully screwed the circuit to the housing then I added this circular plexiglass part to cover the LEDs. The back side of the device has three holes where I placed small magnets which allow the device to get sticky to metallic surfaces easily. In this way, 
my device is completed. The LED's brightness will follow the light intensity and the device lights on automatically in dark places. I still can plug the USB cable to charge the device when the battery gets low. That's it for today guys, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more electronics videos. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was Chris, see you next time.